I'm going to do a video here on how to work around ABS pipe. Now, I'm not a plumber, and generally when I'm doing most things, I can't really afford to uh, hire one, so what, I, what I'll do is I'll cut everything that I'm going to do, as I've done here, and this is all just pushed into place. You can see, maybe if I turn that, you can see it's actually not glued in there yet, and the reason for that I'm sure a pro could do this and cut it as he went along, but what I'll do is I pushed it all in and then I'll mark it. You might find something better than a pencil, but I can see it. And that way I'll know when I go to glue this actually permanently into place, I'll see that it should come close to the line that I've marked on the piece here. Now, just to show you what I'm talking about, if you take a fitting, any one of your fittings that's going to go into your ABS pipe, hopefully you can see the groove there. So if I stick a measuring tape in that, you'll notice that the groove is at around three quarters of an inch outside the pipe. So that's about how far that pipe should go in. Now, I'm sure this isn't an exact science, but I want to know that mine have gone in approximately around that distance. Okay, so I'm disassembling the parts here. Uh, I'm going to take these apart, glue them all together. This is the pipe that I just marked here a second ago. And hopefully I can show you this. There's where I marked it with the pencil, if you can see that line. And uh, as you can see, basically three quarters of an inch that that will go into that fitting. So when I uh, attach this together, I'll be looking to see that that line is relatively close to the end of the fitting. So we're going to use some ABS cement and read the instructions for this stuff. And it's pretty potent, so as soon as I get this done, when I got the windows opened here, here's our pipe with our mark. As soon as I get this done, I'm out of here. And the instructions for this particular can here says hold it for 30 seconds. Now I've got everything kind of stabilized here so basically just uh, what I'm going to do is get it in place and leave it. You want to put enough on that you're going to get a a good hold but you don't want to put on so much that it's puddling either. You just get your pipe in place hold everything so it's stable push it in, hopefully you can see that line that we marked before, kind of turn it as you go and as you can see we're right to the end of that mark and then just put that all turned into place you see, I say hold it for 30 seconds in place and there we have it. Okay, I believe I mentioned that uh, when you're working around the ABS cement, uh, make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Um, also, once you've uh, done your connections, uh, leave the area till it's dry so uh, you're not exposed to the fumes because that ABS cement can be uh, pretty powerful stuff read direct the directions before you use it. Now as far as cutting the pipe this is a great thing about this stuff you can just cut it with a regular saw. Now I've marked where I want to cut this end off. Uh, I've got a little square cutting box here this is just a dirt cheap one from the uh, local big box hardware store so what you do there is you're going to get a 90 degree hopefully you can see this by putting the saw well you can get different angles on it depending on what uh, which uh, lines in the box you put it on, but to, to get a 90 degree angle on something you just put it right across the ones that are uh, across from each other. So you just line it up so the line of the pipe is where your saw is. Hopefully you can see that line there. So you just kind of So 
you get the idea? Realistically, you don't want to do what I just did there. I have this thing uh, secured down to a workbench or something. But anyway, you can see how easy that is to uh, cut.